What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. New subscribers, welcome to Creighton TV. My name is Brandon, just like I said again. <laughs> Woo, but yeah, you know, I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. Appreciate that you guys enjoying the videos. We're on our world way to 1,000 subscribers. Woo! And once I hit to 1,000 subscribers, I will do a giveaway to show you guys my appreciation for subscribing and showing your support towards me. So 1,000 subscribers, once we hit that, giveaway coming for you guys. So, but in the meantime, this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a 20, 2018 iPad Pro or any iPad Pro or iPad or iPhone in general with Streamlabs OBS on the Mac. This is the 2020 edition. There's a lot of videos out there that show you how to do it on PC. You know what I mean? Mac only, Apple ecosystem. So let's get into it. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to get yourself one of these. This is the lightning to uh, AV adapter with the HDMI cable. Now, if you have a 20, if you have a 20, 18 or basically if you have a 2018 ipad pro or 2019 2020 ipad pro the one that uses usb-c you want to use the other lightning port looks like this because this uses usb-c but let's put that back i don't want to mess up everything finally got this video to you know the way you set up the way you had your streamlabs obs set up on your macbook with your playstation your xbox your nintendo switch everything's still the same you want there's nothing you have to change for that you have to just change one thing your hdmi cable that you have from your playstation your xbox or nintendo switch unplug that and then you're going to plug that into this so this is what you're going to need but i'll leave everything that i mentioned in the video down in the description box below a little amazon affiliated links so if you see anything you want to purchase, please use my links. You know, it helps me help out the channel and will help out for more future giveaways for the future. So let's get into it. First things first, after you after you took that HDMI cable from your PlayStation, because me, I have PlayStation 4. If you have Xbox, same thing. So take the HDMI cable. Because if you did not know, just before I start real quick, just because you did not know, on the iPad, the 2018 iPad or newer, you can play 120 FPS. That's smooth. You know, consoles only capped out at uh, at 60 FPS. So if you want to double your FPS, play on the iPad. You can use a controller too. Use your Xbox controller, PS4 controller. Why not? 120 FPS and it's smoother. But I'm gonna show you how to get all that set up. So let me show you. So after you get, after you remove the HDMI cable from your Xbox or play PS4, you plug it into the iPad. See, I have the iPad running. You know, everything I'll show you. See, so everything's all moving. So this is the Elgato software and how you guys join Fortnite on season three. So Fortnite, right now in the lobby, it does say 30 FPS, but let me show you, I go to settings. Um, you see where it says 120 FPS, you can run 120 FPS on the iPad, if you did not know that already. For my mobile people out, you open up your Elgato software, right here you got the little settings icon, it's a little, um, it says show device settings, right where I'm going, where the arrow is at, you click on that. So now where it says input device. You will change your input device from PS4 or Xbox, whatever, to iPad. Now, if you're playing on an iPhone 5 or newer, you and you got the lightning cable, you use this. If you're playing on anything like an iPad, and you can still use the lightning cable. If you're using USB-C, then you run that. If you got an uh, iPhone 4S or older, which I know you can't run Fortnite on anyway, you use the other one. iPad, there's all my settings. You can just leave everything else. Crop right here means if you plug your charger in, it'll crop it out. Less connector if you want more, you know, everything else, but... That's when you're playing with your charger connector, but I'm not gonna do all that just to show you. That's running, you see, now you got the iPad. You know, this is the iPad settings. And if you had your phone hooked up, which I don't, I mean a phone, but your controller hooked up, you can you know, run controller settings on iPad at 120, 120 FPS, which is great. Let's get to Streamlabs. So you make sure you call that because you can't run two uh, softwares at the same time, two streaming softwares. So you close Elgato, get your Streamlabs running. Woo, let's do it. And what good thing about it is it still works with the NDI source plugin. So and the OBS link. Let it run, search for signal. So there's no extra that you have to do, like, oh, I gotta get this, this. Nope. It just all runs NDI source and OBS link, which is great. I didn't think it was, but hey, it works. Uh, finally got this. You guys can see Streamlabs is working with the iPad. Got everything. This is part two. There's everything. So you see the big jump cut. That's why it took forever. You will get it working. Now you see how mine is. It's working off the NDI source and the OBS link. So that's that's really good that it works for that. Okay, now you can see it there. Um, you see that they got the black lines on the side. I don't know how to make it where you can't see it. The only way you can do it is you just got to stretch this out, you know. But people only need to see anyway the game but you stretch it out you can always go back to resize it to fit the screen but once you stretch it out bam 
you know, there you go. And there you go. Now you got the Streamlabs OBS working with the iPad Pro. This is the 2018 iPad Pro. And I'll show you that's working. Let me move everything. You see everything going by. If I wanted to, I can move my camera. As you guys can see me right there. Just click on there. I can move it up. You know, make it smaller. Just so when you're streaming, you know, people can see the gameplay. But you can put it anywhere else. Bam. There you go. There's a full setup. Now that you guys see that it's working, so everything else is the same. How you set up your Streamlabs on the PS4, Xbox, whatever. Everything else is the same. So now this is how you're using a little connector to set up with the 2018 iPad Pro. Any iPad will work. If you have the Lightning one, make sure you just get the right connector. This one is Lightning port. The other one is USB-C, but all the links will be down in the description box down below. Uh, my Amazon affiliate link, so if you see anything that you want liked in the video or anything that I mentioned, just purchase through the links down below. I will also put the, the USB-C uh, Godspin cable that I use with the MacBook because I don't use the USB cable because I don't like dongles. I want straight plug in, you know, faster. That's that's what helps you better off performance. So you don't have that lagging and everything else. But as you can see, look, everything, no lag, running fine. Everything's on time, bam. So, you know, quick, don't have to worry about that. But other than that, if you did enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. On our way to 1,000 subscribers, I really appreciate you guys. Once we get to that 1,000 subscribers, giveaway for you guys and show you guys my appreciation. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys next week. This is your boy Brandon from um, Creighton TV. New subscribers, I appreciate you guys subscribing, and I'm signing out of here. Peace.